A completely brand new research lab has claimed that they have created better distilled models than DeepSeek R1's distilled model. This is a huge feat and in fact, one of the most interesting part about this is that they're introducing a new technique that was inspired by Alpha Zero. This new company is called Cogito. So this is called Deep Cogito. You see this particular benchmark, Cogito 14 billion parameter model is better than Deep Seek R1 distilled the equivalent size, which is a 14 billion parameter model on different benchmarks like MMLU, MMLU Pro, GSM 8K. Across most of these benchmarks, you could see that this model is better in terms of reasoning and also it is better in terms of non-reasoning so it is basically better than a lot of these other open models like quen models llama models deep seek distal models across reasoning and non-reasoning task and this model comes in three different sizes three, uh, this model comes in five different sizes 3 billion parameter 8 billion parameter 14 billion parameter 32 billion parameter and 70 billion parameter model and the best thing is they've already released the model on hugging face and you have got olama support on day zero so you can all you have to do is like go to olama and then start pulling the model and then it would start downloading the model for you so now if you wait pay a little bit more attention about this particular model so this is a model that has been trained using a new technique which they are calling as iterated distillation and amplification even though this particular blog post does not give you a lot more information about that They've briefly mentioned what this technique would ideally mean is the one thing that I don't know if, if it is like weird, if it is like their ob objective mission is that this blog post mentions this general super intelligence and super intelligence multiple different times. So if you go here and then see super intelligence, you can see that at least in five different places they have mentioned super intelligence. I'm not sure if there was any blog post where uh, I've like read about general super intelligence, general super intelligence, general super intelligence, general super intelligence and general super intelligence multiple times in recent time, especially for somebody who has released open models. So I believe that their ambitions are really, really big. And this is something that could be seen in the way these models have been trained. Now coming back to iterated distillation and amplification IDA. According to them, this is a technique uh, that is an alignment strategy, which is um, not upper bounded by overseer intelligence. What do they mean by that? So anytime you want to align it to human um, alignment, a model, it basically caps off the model's intelligence. And this is what like previously in the LLM world, people used to call lobotomizing. They used to say, oh, you're doing RLHF, you're trying to lobotomize the model. But what they're saying here is that we don't have that upper cap here. So just to be very specific, there are two different steps like iteration. Step one is called amplification. Step two is called distillation. Amplification is a process of creating higher intelligence capabilities via subroutines that usually involve more computation. While this is very, very fancy, every single word they have used there, what they basically mean here is that, okay, you're trying to increase the models, uh, you know, thinking process. So these are similar to techniques like chain of thought, answer verification, uh, sampling multiple responses. So, I mean, I know the words are like very different, like it's like almost pitching a venture capitalist, but uh, that is what it means actually. And uh, distillation is like bringing it down to a lower level. Very interestingly, they've quoted a paper. So what like I found pretty fascinating is that they've co quoted two things here. One is a blog post, obviously, and the blog post was written by somebody called Ajaya Kotra. And this blog post basically summarizes another paper. This blog post does a pretty good job. But the main thing, if you were to note here, is that it uses a technique called expert iteration. And this, this was primarily mentioned on this particular paper. And uh, this particular paper was presented uh, by OpenAI. In fact, there is a very interesting name here, which is Anthropic CEO. So this paper was published on uh, 19th October 2018. So it's not a new paper. So it's very interesting to see this company, this uh, new company called Deep Cogito, digging in an old paper. In, in fact, even this blog post is not new. It's like 2018 March. So digging in an old paper, an old blog post and trying to come up with a technique and then saying that this technique actually works. And in fact, they are, make another bold claim. This paper, this blog post is like a lot of bold claims. The other bold claim that they're trying to make is, okay, the benchmarks shown here are industry standard and illustrates IDA's effectiveness. But then there is a note. The note says, 
While these benchmarks provide a useful signal, they do not fully capture real-world performance. In practice, benchmark scores only loosely correlate with how well a model serves the user's need. That said, our models have been tested across multiple well-known evaluations and consistently perform well. And they've acknowledged the fact that benchmarks are like, you know, like the easy thing, like with, with especially like Lama 4 and all those things. So ultimately the best evils are the ones closer to the user's needs. And we are confident that our models will stand up to such real world evaluation and deliver strong results in practice. I think this is honestly speaking such a bold, bold claim. And I would love to see how this model performs in real world. I'm not going to go deeper into the testing part in this particular video. I'll tell you how you can use it. But I think I have to dedicate a separate video to test out this model and then how well the model is performing. Now this, they have also got plans to release larger size models, which I don't think they will make open source. This is like my just guess, like I think it's an interesting business strategy, release a bunch of smaller models, generate enough hype and then release larger models with either restrictive open license or just not like open license at all. So they've got all these 3 billion, 8 billion, 14 billion, 32 billion, 72 billion model, which are like uh, pre-training from Llama and Quinn and they've compared it with DeepSeek R1 distillation concept. And they've said that it is much better. Their approach is much, much better. So the models are optimized for coding, function calling, agentic use cases. Each model can function in both standard mode and as well reasoning mode. And unlike most reasoning models, we have not optimized for long reasoning chains, which is something that they're saying that, you know, um, it is uh, due to multiple factors in real world tasks outside of academic and industry benchmarks. I think this is a dig at LM says most users do not want to wait for a significant amount of token before the actual answers. Secondly, smaller reasoning chains are easily distilled back into the model parameters into the, in the last lip. And lastly, the thinking process after IDA is more powerful than traditional reasoning. So it shouldn't take or need more tokens. There are a lot of interesting things on this particular paper. I uh, just don't want to bore you with the benchmarks. If you see every benchmark, the 70 billion size model. So you can see that this particular model is better than DeepSeek R1 for reasoning and non-reasoning. This model is better than Llama. Then you can see across all the benchmarks, this model is better than, I mean, one, as a matter of fact, even if it is on par, this is a new alignment technique and the model is doing good. But the fact that it is better is kind of like showing that this is a promising direction. And then I would strongly encourage um, more companies to try out this. If you want to use this model, the model is already available on Hugging Faces model up. So you can go here and then pick any of the model that you want. And they've already shared the code. I can make a different video about it if you want. And the other thing is this, um, this model, like for example, if you see here, so there is an extended thinking mode. And if you want the extended thinking mode, there are like certain hyper parameters that you have to tune and then you will get the extended thinking mode. So the other thing, the way you can use the model is you can go to uh, Olama, just say Olama run and whatever the version that you want. In my case, I've said like Cogito 3 billion parameter model and it basically pulled the model. So I've got Olama this one. I can say um, write a, short, a small uh, tweet where uh, every uh, first letter is A and every last letter is A n and uh, make sure it's about um something nice okay so i've told it to write a small tweet let's see i've given certain conditions and if it can do so what is it saying it's saying amazing uh, where is the last letter is n okay it didn't it didn't first letter a and the last letter is n at bringing our day <laughs> i mean boss it's it's not n okay maybe it's it's a uh, it's too much for me to ask a smaller model but let's see if i ask the same question uh, to something like chat gpt and paste this let's see amazingly all around okay even chat gpt doesn't uh, do a pretty good job like this is 40 mini i'm going to go to 40 and then do the same thing with 40 Amazing artisan alienation <laughs> fiction ad or aspiration again and again. Okay, 4O does a pretty good job. 4O mini did not do a good job. I think it's quite unfair for me to compare a 3 billion parameter model to with 4O and 4O mini. But yeah, I mean, it's it's attempted something. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say like this is like the best answer that I was expecting it to give me. But it kind of attempted something that, um, you know, like we all would know that it would do. 
I would make a separate video how to use the model, uh, sorry, ex extensive testing. But if you want to learn how to use a model, you have to have Olama. So do Olama run Cogito 3 billion. Or the other option is you can go use with LM Studio. So I just downloaded the model. So you can go to LM Studio model um, search and then search for Kagito. I've got the 3 billion parameter model. If you want to use it in thinking mode, there are like certain things that you have to enable, particularly here. So add a specific a system prompt. The first one is you can say enable a thinking subroutine. When you just say that, this will know you have to do extended thinking. The main interesting thing for me here is that this model comes up with a new alignment technique, like a post training technique. I am so glad to see people are innovating this, not just the Chinese labs. I think this company is based in the US. Um, the only thing is weird is like always general super intelligence. Maybe GSA is what they want. See you in the video. Happy prompting.